Welcome back everybody to Express. Let's take a look into how you can link your bank account inside WISE. So it's actually really, really simple. The very first thing you want to do is to sign into your WISE account. Once you're here into the home section, whether this is a old account or a new account, you always want it to go directly into card, into the left part. You can always go into the upper side where you have your own account and go directly into your settings. So what I wanted to do is to focus into the right part and go for receipts. Receipts are the accounts that are gonna be sending the money to through a lot of our accounts. So you can always go into the upper side, go add receipt. And here what I want to do is to look out for myself. Now here into myself is going to be asking you for adding your bank details it's going to be really important to add the currency that you're willing to add depending on the bank account that you choose for example let's say united states dollar now here it's going to be asking you for an ach bank details or a wire or a swift transfer it totally depends on what is the actual element you're going to be choosing now sometime here into the wire or the swift option might be uh transferring two dollars at least to make the involved of the charges fee that happens again with a wire account so usually what you want to do is to add your full name the ach routing number your account number and the checkings or savings account that really depends on you let's go into confirmed and after that usually it's going to be asking you to add a code that was generated for you inside your bank statement so this fee might be varying from $12 to $20. When you have charges and additional fees that your bank is coming, your account should now be already been imported in here. Now, if I go into my account, here it should be appearing to the bank account that I have just linked it out uh, here. Now, usually what I need to do in order to delete one account is to go directly to the upper side, go into the lead and hit into the lead once again. Usually this would be more than enough. Here into I just have one account here so I click here and as you can see all the available information is now inside this new section now let's focus into something new if you wanted to get like a new account inside of wise and you don't have a bank account you can always focus into the left part which is managed here into manage you can see that we have the account details direct debits and donations Let's focus into account details. Usually in here, we can receive money in multiple currencies, depending on where the country currently is living. So I can have more account details. Let's say for example, that I'm willing to receive money from Canadian dollar. So let's go into Canadian dollar. And now I needed to have my account details in order to receive the money from a bank account. Let's go into explore wise. Once again, I have my CAD account details. As you can see, I have an account holder name and an institution number, an account number, transit number, and the WISE address account in order to request payments from something else. I do even have like a global SWIFT information to receive from a bank outside Canada. For example, like an account number, the WISE address, and the SWIFT BIC code. Usually, that would be more than enough to have your banking account already been added into your WISE account. You can always go into the upper side where it says your number, go directly into the settings, and inside the settings, you can see a lot of options where you just wanted to focus into connected accounts. You can link up your new connected bank account in order to send money or to receive the money from other bank account. And usually that would be more than enough. So with that being said, guys, we have not reached into the very end of the video, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how you can receive, to send, and operate money inside WISE. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, guys, we can see you all next time.